That was insane. That reminds me of the, the restaurant from Back to the Future. Yeah, dude. There it goes. You guys see it? Love it when things work out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Something exciting going on today. Now you guys already know what's going on because you saw the title and the thumbnail if everything goes to plan for us. But these girls have no idea what's going on yet. So they'll find out when we get there and uh, it should be quite a fun time. You guys excited? Indoor water park. That's what you think it is? Yeah, what's your yeah. guess, Cameron? I, I don't really know. I, I don't Make a guess, wild guess. I, I, I think it's a water park too, just because you may have to get our bathing suits on. Or like some big giant water slide, but I don't, I don't mind that. I think it's one of those dropping water slides. A dropping water slide? Yeah, where you go and set that tube thing and it drops. Oh, and it drops. That's so those are good guesses, Yeah. but you're wrong. <laughs> you should have told them that. Now Keep the curiosity going. Okay. Anyways, we've got about an hour drive to get there from Sugarloaf Key. Uh, so if you remember in the last episode, the awning broke. This is annoying. So I'm going to call the dealership and try to sort that mess out. See if they're willing to send me a part, ship me a part, and let me replace it myself. Hopefully, that's what they'll do. Otherwise, um, I guess I'll just have to take it in when we get back from our trip or something along those lines. Three, three years or five years. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Can I speak to service, please? Yeah, yeah. If you can call me back, I need to find out about some warranty stuff on my RV that I bought there. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Yeah. Yet. Hopefully, when he calls me back, I can explain the situation and start getting it sorted out. I just don't know where we're going to be. Even if they can get it shipped to us at home, and I can just deal with it there, because the awning is it's not the end of the world. It just lose a little convenience, but whatever. But you can put it up and down. So in the meantime, I'll just get a switch from Home Depot or something and I'll wire it up so it can reverse the polarity. Um, so we can just go in and out with the awning. Not as convenient as the controller inside or the phone app, but at least I'm not sitting there playing with wires. I can just use a switch in the hatch or something like that. So that'll work temporarily. Are you guys are you guys ready to go swimming with dolphins? We're actually doing that. Yep. Are you excited? Look, there's dolphins out there. Kendall, are you excited? Mm-hmm. How excited are you? Oh, you were measuring us for this? Hey, are you excited? Daddy said I asked him that. Yes. Very excited. Wait, I asked him that story and you said no. What? That, that you weren't measuring us for this. What? Big fat liar. Sorry. Huh? You're a big fat liar. <laughs> <laughs> so Brandy's gonna go with the girls. I'm gonna hang out with Hannah, and we're gonna watch from here. Sorry, we don't get to go swimming with the dolphins. Just the big girls. Please take your belongings with you, but leave your family behind if they don't have one of those bracelets today. All right, girls, have fun. I guess bring our towels. Bring our towels. Yeah. All right, so we're doing this with the Dolphin Connection, which is based out of the Hawks K Resort on Duck Key. Uh, 
It's gorgeous. Little resort. They've got the swim platforms out here. Looks like the girls are getting ready to take a ride with the dolphins. Hannah, you are waiting nice and patiently. Thank you for that. Don't throw your water. Oh, you little. I'm pretty sure Hannah doesn't care about the dolphins at all. You're just super into that cracker, aren't you? You don't care about the dolphins? Ew, gross, dude. Hi. I don't like that look. Looks like she's gonna puke on me or something. Hey. Are you in a trance? If this is something that you think you're going to come and do, there's not a lot of great, this is probably the best viewing area, which is in this little beachy thing where you can see them swimming towards you here. Now, I will say if they're swimming on the other side in the other direction, there's really not a good viewing area to photograph or whatever. Now they do have picture um, packages, which is part of what you pay for and it is included but it's not, you're not getting your own footage. You can see some stuff up here from the deck as well, but it's not as good as this little beach spot. So just something to know if you come do this, plan to be here, if you're observing. Now, if you're obviously if you're doing it, you're doing it, but hanging out with the baby, gotta get the photos and the videos. Kendall, what did you think about that? It was really cool. Yeah? The, the dolphin did an aerial. Yeah? Yeah. I saw it miss you the first time. Did Hannah Bullock have a good time? You because had to go it, three times. Yeah, because the first time it got distracted by a fish. And then second, I couldn't hold on because it went too fast. And then third, I finally got it. <laughs> it was awesome. Is that the coolest thing ever? Yeah. Yeah? Cameron. What did you think? It was so cool. Yeah? Really cool. What was your favorite part? Probably um, holding on to its fins and then going by. I also loved giving it a kiss. Yeah? yeah. Cool. So cute. Would you, would you want to do it again? Oh, yes. I want a dolphin. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10? Oh, 100 out of 10. Yeah? A billion out of 10. Okay, good. So cool. Brandy. Kendall wants a pet dolphin. What did you think? It was really cool. Yeah? Yeah. You recommend Super people fun. do it? Yeah. It was cooler than I expected. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Just because we see dolphins all the time, but that was really neat. It was really cool. You know what Hannah thought about it? What? She was crying. She looks a little red, so. Um, snacks. That's what she thought. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of snacks, I'm getting a little hungry. You guys hungry? Yeah. What is going? A robot just delivered. No, no, no. Grab him. Please take your food. Take it, take it. Wow. That is crazy. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. I've never had that. That is so crazy. That was insane. <laughs> that reminds me of the, the restaurant from Back to the Future. Oh. You know what I'm talking about in the movie? That was wild. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. We came to grab a bite to eat here uh, next door at the Angler and Ale. 
Nice, super nice restaurant. A robot just delivered our appetizers. Now I can't wait for our food to come out. So I went to Home Depot, I got some stuff to fix this awning. Got an electrical box and a cover. Let's see what we're gonna do with that in just a second. I also got some more wire because I carry a little bit for repairs, but not enough to make a long thing. So I got some wire. I also got, here's the heart of this thing, is a switch. This is a double pull momentary switch. I think it's momentary. No, it's not, but that's okay. So it's on, off, on. And what we're gonna have to do is run power to it and then we'll cross the power over. We'll run the awning to this. I'll show you that when it's done, but this will allow us to go in and out with the awning. I'm gonna mount this inside this box so that uh, it's safer and you can just grab a hold of this thing and operate it. It'll be awesome. Just wire this bad boy in. All right, let me show you a cool trick. So I gotta run a length of wire. I don't have any wire loom. So I just took my red and black wires here. I tied a knot at the end of them. And then I just kind of hooked that knot here behind these vice grips so it won't pull through. And then down here on the other end, I've got them run into this drill. And when you do this, keep in mind, it's gonna make your wires shorter. But what you wanna do is spin the drill It'll coil these wires up nice and tight, and then they'll stay together and they're not going to be going all over the place like spaghetti. Watch this. You want to do that before you run the length or measure the length of wiring. So now they're coiled up. I'll take this and I'll sort of measure it out. I need to run two lengths of these, one for the main power and one for the, the awning motor. So there's going to be four wires total going to the switch. Got this bad boy wired up. Do you guys see it? Let's try it. So let's go up for in. Yeah, dude. There it goes. You guys see it? I love it when things work out. All right. What's nice is that it's not momentary, so I can just clip it up, wait till it's in, and then clip it to off. And then let's go back out. You ready? Down for out. There it goes. Awesome. Ew, are you sweating or is that water? I'm sweating. Ugh. Yeah, it's hot out here. All right, I'm gonna put a couple of zip ties on this and put all this stuff away and then we're gonna go swimming. Here's the beauty of having small people 
I got Kendall in there doing some zip ties for me. We are rocking and rolling. All right, now hold up. Make sure we pull them nice and tight and then there you go. Man, what a relief to uh, finally get the awning working sort of simply, right? I could have had it touching wires and doing weird stuff to make it work, but having a switch, being able to just make it go in and out be so much easier through the rest of the summer and the next, I don't know, four weeks or so uh, on the RV. So that is a big relief. It's about 102 degrees out still. So we're headed to the pool. Look at this crazy little area at the pool. There's like a cornhole course, some looks like bocce ball or something back here. This is crazy. There's like some hammocks. Hold on a second. What are you guys doing here? Are you just hanging out to in the shade? Yeah, I'm thirsty too. I could use a cold drink right about now. How about you? Oh, hi, you gonna guess? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. All right, I'm getting a cold drink in the cold pool. See you guys next week. Bye. Whoa.